Shalom, giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rekakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders, a great millstone. Shalom to the hopeful elect. A hearty Shalom to all the brothers who are pushing this truth all around the globe. And to you few sisters out there who believe in the gospel, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. This is your brother, Atizer Wine by Off. I'm going to bring a quick, short lesson. And uh, <clears throat> this lesson is really going to be on this, this article that I saw here on, from CBS News uh, with this, uh, this dude here who's still pushing their, their narrative and pushing their own agenda, right? Um, and we know that it comes uh, from the left-hand side of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. OK, um, but in this article, uh, they're discussing with this guy uh, what their take is for the upcoming, as they call it, holiday season, which they start their wickedness at the end of this month, the month of October. OK, all the way into um, January, I guess you would say. OK, but anyway, I'm going to make this as quick as possible. Um, I just, it just caught my eye and a few scriptures popped into my head. So we'll get three or four scriptures and be done. Um, but let's read a little bit of this article here. Okay. Um, and it says, Fauci says it's quote, too soon to tell end quote, whether to avoid so-called, well, Christmas gatherings. All right. And this is for the citizens of Babylon the Great. Okay. For your wicked pagan holidays, whether or not you be able to have grandma and grandpa over, okay, with your grandkids, all right? So it starts out by saying, um, Dr. Anthony Fauci, chief medical advisor to President Biden, said Sunday it's too early to say whether Americans, and Americans is cold word for, for so-called white people, okay? Americans should avoid large family gatherings for Christmas while the nation experiences an uptick in new Crown Vic 1-9 infections among children alongside lagging uh, vaccination rates. Okay. And it goes on and it says, uh, in an interview with Face the Nation, Fauci said it's too, just too soon to tell whether holiday gatherings should be eliminated for the, what, second year in a row due to the ongoing pandemic but said Americans need to focus on lowering the numbers of new infections and hospitalization. Quote, we've just come to, we just got to concentrate on continuing to get those numbers down. It's a lot here. And try to jump ahead by weeks or months and say what we're going to do at a particular time. End quote, Fauci told Face the Nation. Let's focus like a laser to continue to get those cases down and we can do it by people getting, you know, getting the sauce and also in the situations where boosters are appropriate to get people boosted. OK, so they're pushing this thing hard. OK. And for you and they're going to play on the emotions of the citizens of Babylon the Great. OK, saying that you can't be with your 85 year old grandpa. OK, you can't, you know, have your little seven year old run his train around the Christmas tree. OK, with all the other kids because he might get infected or he might infect somebody. So they're going to use the fear mongering. OK, on the citizens of Babylon. OK. The country hit another grim milestone in the CV pandemic, passing 700,000 deaths from CV19 on Friday. But the surge of the new cases. Uh, hospitalizations and deaths driven by the highly contagious Delta variant appears to be slowing. Fauci, the director of National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Disease, warned the turnaround should not make Americans complacent or lead to a plateau in vaccination rates among those who are eligible. If you look at the history, quote, if you look at the history of the different surges we've had, it's come up, start to come, uh, come down and then all of a sudden, boom, come back up again, he said, end quote. As it's going down, we have within our capability, within our capability, we can make this happen, namely, namely 
going down to a very, very low level with vaccination and with mitigation. Okay, Americans over the age of 12 are eligible for CV vaccinations and 65.2% of that population are fully vaccinated, according to the Center uh, for Disease Control, right? They create the stuff there in the laboratory. All right, this is nothing but uh, biochemical warfare against the citizens. That's all it is, all right? Even though cases have risen among children to ensure the safety of students who return from an in-person learning with the start of the new school year, California became the first state to man mandate CV19 vaccine for students and staff. Fauci said he agrees with the new requirement from Gover Governor Gavin Newsom, a Democrat, and noted that vaccine mandates for children in public schools have existed for years. People need to realize that having a, a vaccine requirement for schools is not a new novel thing that is very peculiar or specific to CV19. We've been doing this for decades. He said, my own children could not have gone to school if they had not gotten vaccinated with the measles, mumps, and rubella. So when we see pushback on that, it's as if this never happened before. It's actually ongoing with other vaccines. So let's do it with a, a virus that's very, very serious. And on and on and on and on. We're not going to go through the whole article, but you see what, they're, what, what he's talking about. Okay, so let's get a couple of scriptures here. Okay, because these people are wicked and they, they've got the, that agenda, okay, that they're going to carry out. But here we see uh, Flocky. Let's go to this. <clears throat> Job 9.24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Right? The prophet Job is telling you who the wicked is. And we can see that because of their actions in the earth. Okay, they cover up the faces. Who are the judges? The Israelites. All right. They whitewashed everything throughout history and tried to get everyone to believe in history that man had never seen anything or learned anything until the Greeks came. You see. Which is which is an out and out lie. That's just a, just just an outright lie. OK. And they and, and they're nothing but liars. OK. Job 13, let's go to one. Lo, my eyes have seen all this. My ear had heard and understood it. What ye know, the same do I know also. I am not inferior unto you. Surely I would speak to the Almighty, and I desire to reason with the Most High. But ye are forgers of lies. Ye are all physicians of no value. Yeah. And this dude here <laughs> calls himself a physician, and he's a liar. They're all liars. Any, 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 anybody that looks like him is a liar. Okay? Because that's what they are. And the scripture just told you that's what they are. Their physicians are liars. Okay? Verse 4 again, but ye are all forgers of lies. Ye are all physicians of no value. Right? They have no value. Verse 5, oh, that ye would all together hold your peace and it should be your wisdom. Hear now my reasoning and hearken to the pleadings of my lips. Will you speak wickedly for the Most High and talk deceitfully for him? Yeah, they're acting and playing a part as if, so I can, they're, uh, they're the Most High, man. You know, these people, they want to be on the level of the Most High. You see? He will surely reprove you if ye do secretly accept persons, shall not his excellency make you afraid? And they're not afraid of the most high. They, they, you know, of course, all these things come from the most high from, you know, that he put on them from the left hand side. Right. So we know that. But in their mind, they're so proud. OK. Verse 11 again, shall not his excellency make you afraid? And his dread fall upon you. Your remembrance 
remembrances are like unto ashes, your bodies to bodies of clay, right? You'll eventually be destroyed. You're nothing as it is, but the Most High is going to destroy you, okay? This is King David, all right? And we'll read just this little portion right, right here of uh, Psalm 58, 58 and 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb. Who are the wicked? Esau, Edom, okay? The earth was given into their hands. They are the sword. Okay. Pursue it to Genesis 27. That was Esau's blessing to have the dominion of the earth and to be the sword of the earth. The wicked are strange from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies. Physicians of no value. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the deaf adder that stoppeth her ear, which Will not, will not hearken to the voice of the charmers. Charmers n never so wisely. Salakia. Charming never so wisely and an adder is like a serpent. Okay. Break their teeth, O power, in their mouth. Break out the great teeth of the young lions, O Lord, Yahweh. Let them melt away as waters which run continually. When he bendeth his bow to shoot his arrows, let them be as cut in pieces. As a snail which melted, let every one of them pass away. Right. King David wants them destroyed. He hated Edomites. Okay. Like the untimely birth of a woman that they may not see the sun. Before your pots can feel the thorns, he shall take them away as with the whirlwind, both living and in his wrath. The righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance, right? And we're going to rejoice when our Lord and Savior comes back, right? And begins to throw this place down with heavy, heavy, heavy judgment, okay? The righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked, okay? This is Nahum. Uh, chapter 1 and let's just go straight to the point in verse 3 the Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked what's what's it mean to acquit it means to to clear okay to make a person or something innocent let's see if we can get to it here and it is the Hebrew word uh Nequa, I believe. Strong's age, 5352. Nakah. 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 And it says, um, to be empty, yeah, to be clear, be pure, be free, be innocent. So the Lord is not going to make, they're not innocent. Okay? And he's going to make sure that they're not innocent. They are the wicked. You see? Let's get back to the verse and finish it out and we'll be done. Once again, this is uh, Nahum 1 and 3. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. The Lord hath his way in the whirlwind and in the storm and the clouds are the dust of his feet. And remember, <clears throat> in this scripture here, in Matthew, you know, we know a person as it says here, a tree and its fruit, and it's mainly talking about false prophets, but when you can apply this to the wicked, because as we're going to read, you know, the wicked come from a seed of wickedness, and the seed turns into a plant or a tree, or, you know, or a tree, if you will, and it bears fruit, and when it's wicked, it's going to bear that evil fruit, okay, even though this is particularly speaking of the false prophets. And quiet as it's kept when you look at it, they're false prophets. This dude's a false prophet. Okay? Spreading lies. Okay? Not in a prophet, uh, being a prophet of the Most High, but just a person who's going to come out and put out something that's not true. 
okay? So let's read this and we'll be done. This is Matthew 7 and 15. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing. Right, they all come to you trying to be all smooth and nice, okay? But inwardly they are raving in wolves. Ye shall know them by what? Their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. And these people are from an evil seed, from an evil tree, bringing evil fruit. All right? So I just wanted to go into that. You know, I just wanted to bring that out once, since I saw this uh, I saw this article and uh, I said, you know what, I'll just go into a lesson with it. You know, the Lord is not, a, he's not going to acquit the wicked, you know, and we're going to rejoice when this place goes down. Okay. With that, I'm in the lesson right there. Lord willing, it was edifying to anybody who watches the video. I'm going to give all praise to the most high Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Makakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders, a great millstone. Shallow honor to the hopeful elect out there. I'll see you real soon with another lesson real soon. Okay, uh, Lord willing. Shallow honor.